Boeing's largest 737 has been stuck in certification limbo for nearly a decade. Airlines hold over 1,500 orders worth billions. The aircraft cannot carry passengers. But on January 9, 2026, something changed. Federal Aviation Administration test pilots began a new phase of evaluation. This could unlock deliveries in 2027, or it could reveal problems that delay certification even further. The Boeing 737 MAX 10 advanced to the second phase of Federal Aviation Administration certification testing in January 2026. This marks the first time FAA pilots have conducted operational scenario evaluations on the aircraft. Test pilots assess handling characteristics and flight control responses and safety system performance under conditions that replicate actual airline service. The transition to this phase indicates Boeing has satisfied initial structural and performance requirements. Boeing submitted the MAX 10 for certification in 2017 with projected approval by 2020. Nine years later, the aircraft remains grounded. No passenger has flown commercially on a MAX 10. The delay stems from two primary technical challenges that Boeing must resolve before the Federal Aviation Administration grants type certification. The engine anti-ice system presents the most significant obstacle. The CFM LEAP 1B engines feature a mechanism designed to prevent ice accumulation on inlet surfaces during flight through icing conditions. Engineers discovered that continuous operation of this system in dry air generates excessive heat in carbon composite inlet structures. Prolonged exposure to these temperatures can weaken structural integrity or cause material fragments to separate from the inlet cowling. Boeing cannot receive certification approval while this hazard exists. The Federal Aviation Administration issued a temporary operational workaround for in-service MAX 8 and MAX 9 aircraft in August 2023. Pilots receive instructions to activate anti-ice systems only when encountering actual icing conditions or when forecast models predict ice formation along the flight path. This limitation proves acceptable for aircraft already certified and operating commercially. Certification standards for new aircraft types prohibit such operational restrictions. Boeing must demonstrate that the anti-ice system functions safely under all environmental conditions without pilot intervention or flight manual limitations. The company initiated a complete system redesign in January 2024. Initial projections suggested completion within 12 months. That deadline passed without resolution. Boeing conducted more than 3,000 hours of ground testing to validate the redesigned system. Laboratory simulations replicated temperature extremes and airflow variations and rapid environmental transitions that aircraft encounter during typical operations. The Federal Aviation Administration requires proof that modifications eliminate overheating risks across the entire operational envelope before advancing certification review. The second major certification requirement involves crew alerting system enhancements. Boeing must retrofit a redesigned cockpit alert architecture across all MAX variants. This modification addresses deficiencies identified after fatal crashes in Indonesia and Ethiopia, killed 346 people in 2018 and 2019. Flight crew members in both accidents received contradictory or insufficient information about aircraft system malfunctions as automated flight control systems repeatedly commanded nose-down trim inputs. Federal regulators and congressional oversight committees mandated comprehensive improvements to how MAX aircraft communicate system status and failure modes to pilots. The enhanced angle of attack system allows crews to suppress nuisance alerts during specific abnormal conditions while maintaining critical safety warnings. Boeing must prove this architecture provides clear and actionable information that enables appropriate pilot responses during emergencies. The Federal Aviation Administration began formal certification review on December 12, 2025. Agency test pilots now evaluate whether Boeing's solutions function as designed during actual flight operations. This phase differs fundamentally from earlier laboratory testing and computer simulations. 
real flight conditions introduce variables that ground testing cannot fully replicate. Wind shear and turbulence and temperature inversions and other atmospheric phenomena stress aircraft systems in ways that laboratory environments cannot duplicate. FAA pilots conduct dozens of test flights examining specific system behaviors and failure modes. They intentionally trigger alert conditions and simulate component failures and execute non-standard flight profiles to verify that aircraft responses match certification requirements. Each test flight generates data that engineers analyze to confirm system performance meets regulatory standards. Anomalies or unexpected behaviors require investigation and potentially additional design modifications. Boeing CEO Kelly Ortberg stated the company project certification in 2026, but acknowledged no guaranteed approval timeline exists. The Federal Aviation Administration maintains authority to extend testing indefinitely if concerns emerge during evaluation. Regulators prioritize thoroughness over schedule adherence, following intense criticism after the original MAX certification process. Congressional investigations revealed that FAA delegation of certain certification activities to Boeing employees created conflicts of interest that contributed to safety oversights. Current certification procedures impose stricter oversight and reduce manufacturer self-certification authority. FAA engineers directly participate in design reviews and test planning and data analysis rather than accepting manufacturer-generated documentation at face value. This approach increases certification timelines, but provides greater assurance that aircraft meet safety standards before entering commercial service. Alaska Airlines ordered 105 MAX 10 aircraft on January 7, 2026, despite certification uncertainty. The carrier expects first deliveries in 2027 if Federal Aviation Administration approval occurs during 2026. WestJet holds the launch customer position planning initial commercial service in late 2026 or early 2027. Southwest Airlines maintains substantial MAX 7 orders with similar delivery expectations. Airlines face significant operational risks if certification extends beyond current projections. Fleet planning operates on multi-year timelines. Carriers negotiate gate leases and crew training schedules and maintenance facility capacity and route authorities based on projected aircraft delivery dates. Delays force airlines to extend operations of older and less efficient aircraft or reduce planned capacity growth. The MAX 10 directly competes with the Airbus A321neo in the high-capacity single-aisle segment. The A321neo captures approximately 60% of unfilled orders in this category. Boeing cannot compete effectively while its product remains uncertified and unavailable for delivery. Boeing reported $6.2 billion in operating losses during fiscal year 2025. The Commercial Aircraft Division requires successful MAX 10 certification and production ramp-up to achieve profitability targets. Defense and Space Divisions reported combined losses exceeding $4 billion in 2025. Successful 2026 certification enables Boeing to begin MAX 10 deliveries in 2027, preserving Boeing's competitive position against Airbus. Certification delays beyond 2026 would force airline order deferrals or cancellations and strengthen Airbus market dominance and extend Boeing's financial recovery timeline into the 2030s.